Okay, hello and welcome to an- That's- is that racist? Why does podcasting make me yawn? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello and welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. Um, this is an actual one, not like that bonus one. Yeah, Stop. we've actually got quite a lot of topics, so hopefully I didn't we'll... think we'd have anything. Yeah, I sent out a Snapchat on just like my own account, just like, Hey guys, no, but we have a Skit- do we have a Skit Twins? I think we do. Oh, cool. I can't remember the password to it or the username oh. or anything. Um, but yeah, so I just well have one. Yeah. <laughs> I started to Snapchat and I was like, guys, recording a podcast, give me some ideas. And everyone was like, I don't know. And I was like, that's my problem too. Yeah. But thanks to. What's this bookmark? It's a Sherlock one. Oh. I am Sherlocked. Do you want to sure no. explain It's a picture bookmark? of Benedict Cumberbatch with I am S H E R locked, like off of that episode when. Is it in a scandal in. The Grave Yeah, I think it's that, that one. one. Um, but yeah, anyway, welcome. Um, Clock's changed last night, it's now officially winter. Well, for the UK. And is it maybe just Europe? I, I know it. that America changes next week. Really? Yeah. Late to the party as always. <laughs> rude. <laughs> I am rude, I'm sorry America. But yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of feels like, it feels like it's winter now, but at the same time, it's brighter in the mornings. But also today and yesterday were freezing. Yeah, today's cold. In the UK. In the UK. <laughs> and Ireland. I have um, to remember that we have foreign fans. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting so big now. Um, but yeah, the clock's changed and that brings the real distrust of technology. Yeah, like it's literally you wake up in the morning and you're sort of like, did you change? Did it change? I set an alarm for an hour earlier just in case. <laughs> But then how would you know if it changed or not? How would you know if like... See, I have that? my watch and I have to change oh, okay. my watch manually. So I, I normally have it over at my desk, but I had it beside my bed. So I checked my watch and then checked my phone and was like, oh, it's okay, it changed. Bye. I have a watch somewhere in my room. I don't know where, but it, it used to go off at about 19 minutes past eight in the morning. Mm -hmm. So now it goes at 20 past seven or like 19 minutes past seven. So that's how I knew. Um, I have a lot of... Why am I so yawning on Lady Bonkers? I have a lot of old watches in my room that yeah, I have Yeah, they beep, but like, they beep every hour, no, but it's not on the hour. There's <laughs> ten to the hour, ten past, and... Like, three minutes. Somewhere around three minutes past. <laughs> and then there's ones that randomly have alarms at like... I think there's one at ten to ten, but that would now be, what, ten to nine? nine. And... Just we don't really care about all your watches in your room. Okay, sorry. But yeah, so it's I was gonna say it's almost Christmas, but it's it's Halloween first, but But we don't really do Halloween. Yeah. It's sort of a Yeah. I mean I don't know. Like, I think it's just we never really got the hype. I think I think because we never went trick or cheating because um We live in a wee rural yeah. <laughs> rural village. So there was nowhere really to go trick or treating. Like whenever we lived in the old house there was sort of we had neighbours but they were all sort of elderly <laughs> and it was sort of like oh no we can't it was very sort of like christiany road yeah and it was sort of like we can't disturb them and it was like okay. and also it was kind of like it's a pagan festival like you can't celebrate halloween but like i don't even think it was that mom said that we couldn't go trick-or-treating because it was too much like begging yeah uh, she didn't want us begging it kind of was though I, like it is but like at the same time now it's sort of very commercialized it doesn't seem yeah. the same we went trick-or-treating like once in donegal just round our friends' houses, yeah. which was like I think two that houses. Was, I think that was just a bit of banter, though, to be honest. Yeah. I think we, we didn't. Was that whenever Mary threw out just a box of... No, that was during the summer. She just threw I out a threw box. A box of, was it was Quality it? Street, I think? Yeah. She just opened a tub of Quality Street, didn't even throw us the box. She kept the box and just <laughs> threw the sweet side onto the lawn. That was class. <laughs> Good day. She probably still one's buried somewhere. That's what I was going to say. All the coconut ones are probably out there. <laughs> no, because um, Kieran likes coconut oh, ones. okay. I think people. I think, who, then, I think then we managed to clear up. The yeah, well, I think people who like coconut ones are special, and they should be protected. At they all are costs. heroes. They are heroes. Yeah, and because if you if you didn't have someone to have the coconut ones, you'd have to throw out a pile of sweets, and that's just yes. a waste. Here, can we just discuss for a minute? My whiteboard had the notes from like two podcasts ago stuck on it. Yeah, and I tried to clean it. You meant to use nail varnish remover. You meant to use nail well. varnish remover, but. We found out this morning that mouthwash or toothpaste works incredibly well. I knew, well. I knew toothpaste worked, so yeah. I was kind of like, maybe mouthwash will work. Well, just that's a pro tip because my whiteboard looks like new. Well, it doesn't anymore because I have more notes written on it, but yeah, I'm sort of wiping it out as we go along, so hopefully I won't have that problem again. That's good. But, yeah. So I have down here guilt. Yeah, because last night I had my teddy bear 
in in my bed and then I woke up and then I got I like went to the toilet or whatever and I came back and my teddy was not in my bed and I was like what what is going on and I was I'm like rolled around the bed like reaching for it going where are you where are you and then he was on the floor and I had to reach out and don't cover your mouth sorry and I was just I just gave a big cuddle big cuddle said sorry and went back to sleep I lay on top of my teddy last night oh felt bad did you apologize I did big hugs yeah in fact, I mean, I could go get him now and just carry him with me, lift, hold him while I'm doing the podcast. He's napping. Yeah. He's his own wee sleeping bag. <laughs> that you stole off another teddy and I think Mrs. Wrinkles. Great. Mrs. Wrinkles was... was a wee grey, like, she? wrinkly dog, but it was like a hand puppet too. You could put your hand in the back of her head. Oh, that's kind of grim. Yeah. Um, and the inside of it, where you put your hand, was all pink, like yeah, you were putting like... it in the brain. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you could, you could make her talk. She came with a dress, a wee purple dress, and then a wee purple sleeping bag, which my teddy. She also had pants in. that had a, a tail hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what voice we used for. Was it? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? I don't know. She's probably in the attic. I hope she's in the attic. I hope she's in the back hall. I hope she's okay. <laughs> you all right there, love? <laughs> she's fine. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm relieved. You, what, you asked where bird flu went. But yeah. she was swine flu, not the same. Like it's just sort of disappeared, and it's like foot and mouth as well. Yeah. So did we find cures for it, or I think it just kind of died out, or the people that Bye. had it died out. Oh, so people just died, and then it just that was it. Well, I don't know, because someone up the road had swine flu, and she nearly she's yeah, she didn't die. She got over it. Yeah, but she was an ICU for ages. <laughs> oh right, okay. Um. But yeah, so did did we just did we cure it, or did it... I don't think we cured it. I think it's just like. Well, I don't know. I think we find ways of managing it, if that makes sense. So, it, so it's, it's not still like, out there? Yeah, but it's not like an epidemic slash pandemic. I know there's a difference between those two and I can't remember and I learned it. Do you want it, me like, to Google it? or? Yeah. I know that we learned it at school and then at uni. Yeah. And yet, yeah, you know, I've, been, I've graduated from uni two years now and I can't remember. Epidemic v. Pandemic. Comparison. But, but at the same time, it's weird because people are always like, "So when did you graduate?" You know, it's like, "Yeah, two years ago." And they were like, "Then they're like, I thought like, you only graduated in the summer." It's like, "No, nah. twenty three, still without a job. I just make podcasts and videos." <laughs> okay, so an epidemic, an epidemic occurs when the incidence rate, i.e., new cases in a given population during a given period of a certain disease substantially exceeds what is expected based on recent experience. So that's epidemic. So epidemic is like... There's more flu sufferers than normal. Yeah. A pandemic is when an epidemic of an infectious disease spreads through spreads through human populations across a large region okay, or so continent. Like an, so like an epidemic is small scale and pandemic is like... A pandemic is like scale. an infectious disease. Because it's like pandemonium! So mass so panic. Pandemic would be the Black Death. Yeah. An epidemic would be a couple of old ladies in Derry have the flu. <laughs> <laughs> Educational and funny. Yeah. That's what this podcast does. I need somewhere to lean my elbow. I know we need somewhere different to like stand this because it's just not comfortable here, but also it's the quietest place. Yeah. That's what I could ask for for Christmas. What? Just a wee booth a wee booth or like why don't we sit on the floor and sit it on a because we tried that and you couldn't get comfy and yeah. you kept kicking a, kicking the stool and you heard that throughout the entire podcast what you, you, you kicking it and then going i can't get comfy <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me <laughs> what's what's next here we could talk about christmas i'm really excited about christmas i just but i don't like i'm trying not to get hyped about christmas because it's not november yet it'll be november on what thursday I know, but even then, it's too early. Like, it needs to be... I'm going to say... Like, I'm not, like, fully, like, you know, playing Christmas tunes. But I'm like, you know, Christmas is coming. I This is coming from a person who has been doing a 365-day day countdown. countdown for the past three years. Yeah. It has been three years. Yeah. Two, Although, three. to be fair, this is the first year that I've managed to do it consistently every single day. I'm proud of you. I think, except one day whenever I forgot to tweet it. Because I keep it in drafts. I sort of, like, whenever I wake up, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll check how many days it is till Christmas or sleeps. And then I'll put it in, like, Twitter drafts and I'll be like, oh, I'll tweet it later. And then sometimes I forget. So. Still Why haven't don't you managed... just do it when you look it up? 
because I'm usually on like a phone that doesn't have Twitter or else I have Wi-Fi turned off and I'm like eh. you literally swipe up hit a button shh <laughs> sleep <laughs> I won't be excited until it is less than 50 sleeps it's 59 sleeps right now or 58 less than 40 sleeps then okay once it hits 40 that's whenever is do you think it's do you think it's okay if I got an advent calendar for November? They're selling them already, why not? Like, You can't get a proper one though. What do you mean? Like it would have to be a cheap one. Yeah, like a pound one. Like yeah. I wouldn't get like a Kinder one or like a Milky Bar one. What kind of one but do like, you want this year? Do you want to? I don't know, because I think the Kinder one's the best because they're all like individually wrapped within wrapping. So they wrapping. actually taste nice So they nice actually chocolate. taste nice. Whereas the everything... Cadbury's one always tastes the Milky like bar, plastic. The, bil- the Milky Bar one's okay. What ones do we have last year? We had... Mum always gets us Where's Wally ones from Marks, Marks and Spencer's, Spencer's, which for two half-blind kids. I keep on calling us kids. We're not really kids. We're 23. I'm going to say I'm a kid. But for two like half-blind kids, like we're... It's, it's not it's class crack. Yeah. It's you can't You can't get the chocolate out until, until you, you find, find it. it. And I think there was a time when we had three chocolates sitting waiting for us to break through the foil to eat, but we, we couldn't find the thing. Yeah. And you don't give up on those things. You... You have to look. You persevere. There's, there's also no cheat codes. I don't know. <laughs> or like no, no You cheat can't find sheets. it online. No one no one does a wee run on commentary online with oh here's where Waldo was today. Yeah, like they they maybe buy their advent calendars and towards the end of November and then open them all and then have like them all circled. circled. Someone needs to do I could do that this year. That it would take you up to December to find them all. I'm sure Marks and Spencer will have their stuff in at the start of November, so I could I could spend a month trying to find them. Do you think he could send it back and be like, this is not suitable for visually impaired people? <laughs> Where'd you buy it then? <laughs> oh, I suppose fair enough. <laughs> they can't make a, like, is enlarged Where's Wally? Is that a thing? <laughs> Did you Did a come with a magnifying glass? glass at least? Some of them do. Yeah, some of the books do. Yeah. You don't get advent calendars with a magnifying glass. <gasps> Imagine like a gadget filled advent calendar, but That'd like, really cool. a wee spy one for like kids. That would be Would buy it. Amazing. A wee spy pen, one of those like UV ink pens, and then like on like day sixteen, you get the wee UV light pen for it. Oh, so you'd be able to write secret messages, and now you can. So you can actually see them. You can see how awful your handwriting was. I love that. What seeing how awful your handwriting? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, what I should have done whenever I was using those pens is use the light as I wrote. Yeah. But I needed a pit like a hand to hold the page, and also I I didn't think of it. Yeah. Seven-year-old oh. Chloe was yeah. not thinking ahead. No. Makes me really sad. Um, see, we watched Doctor Who this morning from last week. Yep. The um, Rosa Parks, the Rosa Parks episode. One. I thought it was very good. I am very impressed with this series. And I, to be honest, wasn't expecting much. But here I am. It's not that I wasn't expecting much. I think I just wasn't expecting the variety of episodes. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I kind of was a bit sort of like, oh, it's not going to be that great, is it? Yeah. Like, I think the last couple of series, well, Matt Smith's sort of, I think his series sort of more tailored towards younger kids is what I find. Whereas Mm -hmm. whenever it got to Capaldi and stuff. Whenever you start watching it back again, you will enjoy Matt Smith. No, I mean, I'm watching it back, but still, I think it's sort of like, it's, it's too funny. And t- at times, there's some episodes that are properly scary, but then there's yeah. other ones that's sort of like, no, nah, this is just a joke. Like, yes, there's scary elements to it, but it's sort of out- overshadowed by. I disagree. I think comedy. it was quite good. It was different. It's it's each doctor is different, and it sort of takes you a while to get into that. And if you don't go into it with a sort of open, open mind. mind, which I know I didn't with Matt Smith and Capaldi, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be rubbish. And so whenever I watched it back, sort of quite recently over the summer I don't know a while ago um I was sort of more like yeah you know what let's let's give this a go and I I enjoyed it far far yeah. more than I did at the time I will probably binge watch Doctor Who over Christmas because I won't be going to the gym every morning so I'll like just be like you know what I can just sleep all day tomorrow I'll just watch like 16 episodes a year highly recommend it yeah 16 episodes a day rather than a year <laughs> oh yeah sorry that's <laughs> what <laughs> 16 episodes a year would be like one every three weeks yeah that maths that maths skills chloe i don't even think that's right but I just sound confident you're good why are there so many buzzy things inside because it's warm inside and cold outside should they not be sleeping i mean do bees and what bees and wasps hibernate don't they yeah go sleep somewhere else <laughs> 
Lad, excuse me, I've had like a whole hive in my attic. In summer. Hibernating. Right, that's... They came into your room in, in summer. Yeah, no, they woke from their hibernation in spring, summer. Yeah, but they weren't, like, they weren't bothering you now at this time. Well, no, they weren't. Well, yes, whenever they came in the, the initial time, you could hear the, like, sort of like a low hum of them buzzing. Chloe, I'd be out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that's what it was. I thought it was just like the three extension leads I have leading around my room because I only have one plug. <laughs> Fair news, I thought it was just that. If I didn't know what it was, I'd probably be okay. But whenever I hear buzzing, I'm like, <laughs> I knew when that is going to be. I know when I can't get away from me. Yeah. Yeah. There's been ones in the kitchen lately, and I think they're just big flies. But they're massive. But they are huge. And that's what freaks me out because can't see them, can't work out whether it has a pointy butt or not. <laughs> And I know you're meant to be nice to bees and give them sugary water and not kill them, but I don't kill them. I just run away or try and like coax them. I mean, out. I've trapped ones in glasses and then just sort of looked at them because I've never been able to see one close up. Yeah. Obviously, I let it, I release it. You release it. Yeah. Does it not like come back to be like, you trapped me in a glass? Sting, sting, no, sting. Because generally, I capture them as they're at the window, so it's kind of like I like to think they're sort of like, oh, this is outside now, and. I like to think they thank me, but I mean, generally, I just lift the bottom off the glass and then run with the glass. Like, just bail. I can hear humming, and it, I know it's your computer, but part of my brain is going, there's a bee in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I dislike. Let's take your mind off and talk about the greatest showman and how much you love it. Chloe and I are not okay because we have been singing songs from the greatest showman since we watched it in August. September. Pretty sure it was August, because it was August that we went to Donegal with Abby and Rachel. Okay. Well, no, it was the start of September, whenever we went, but... Um, it was August. End of August. The pictures on my phone say August. E end of August. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, most days, it's the only way I can get through my run. <laughs> I've been... Do not slime, sponsored by The Greatest Showman. <laughs> I've been clean for three days. <laughs> I'll it's keep like you updated on this. A Fanatics Anonymous meeting. <laughs> Hi, my name's Judith. And I'm addicted to the greatest showman. Why are you just singling so, me out? So are you. No, I think I'm 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 addicted to um <laughs> to the Shrek song somebody once told me. Oh Chin. <laughs> I thought you were gonna make a joke there. What? <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't thought there. I, I was waiting for a punchline. <laughs> anyway. Hi, I'm Chloe and uh, somebody once told me <laughs> the world was going to roll me. But I think you are You are also um, having problems with the greatest showman. I am. Um, sometimes I'll just you sort of be it. sitting in the car and I'll just be like, why don't we rewrite the stars? Yeah, you sing it more than me, but I think maybe I listen. No, actually, no, I think we listen to it. We both listen to it. Yeah. I mean, in the gym I have a lot of songs and occasionally, well, actually nearly every single time I have run this week, Thomas the Tank Engine theme tune has come See, on. And the full version, you have to listen to it. Two it's minutes like long. Two minutes long and it is a banger. It's... <laughs> so good. It's the week. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, I have down here little. Little? Are you going to talk about little? It's pronounced no, little. But little is Lidl. really good. Lidl. Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. Which way do you pronounce it? Lidl, Lidl, or little? They're all spelled the same, but you can. <laughs> I'll put this up as a poll. Hold on. Are you going to put it up as like L I D L, L I D L, or L I D L? No. Oh, please. Oh, okay. It'll be so funny. Okay, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> How do you pronounce little? <laughs> little, 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 or little. Or um, other. Or other, yeah. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say, actually, Lidl's such a good place. I, I specifically remember coming home from triathlon training and dad being like, oh yeah, we just need to stop in to get milk. Came out about 45 minutes later with everything except for milk. I think he got a new tool kit, he got a boiler suit, he got work trousers. He wouldn't let me get the flamingo rubber ring. He wouldn't let me get 
What else did he not get? He wouldn't let me get the wee tiny trampoline. I wanted a tiny trampoline. But yeah, we ended up with a whole pile of stuff and then we had to go, we had to stop. <laughs> we had to stop on Dungiven to get milk. Because it wasn't <laughs> until we were going over Glen Sheen that Dad was like, oh, shh, sugar. We didn't get milk and we were in Lidl. <laughs> we all just kind of laughed because we were like, that's the one thing we went in for. And we ended up with like one of those like cardboard fruit boxes full of stuff along with me and Judith carrying stuff like pack meals. Uh, so I got Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. L-I-D-D-L. Yeah. Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. What else? What other way would you say it? I don't know, but I put an option for others so people can... Oh, there you go. Find that. Ah, I put the first one for like two days and the second one for like two hours. Hold Wait, on. what do you mean for two hours? What? Like the pole length. How long it's going to be up for. Oh, okay. Well, find that poll on Twitter and answer it. And retweet it. Yeah, um, share it with your friends. Um, so what I was originally gonna say before we got sidetracked by me saying little, little, I was saying little. Okay, little. okay. Little things <laughs> that change how you see a person, whether it be like a celebrity or just like a friend or whatever. And like it could it could be like something like stupidly small, like whether or you, not they support Donald Trump or Brexit. Yeah, or else you find That's out like, not small. <laughs> you, you find out like that they smoke or something like that. Yeah. Like, I think whenever I find out people smoke, I'm kind of like, oh, I thought so much better of you. Yeah. Or if they say something or retweet something, like, a bit dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, I was just thinking about that the other day, because I was like, I really liked a certain celebrity, and then I found out that they smoked, and I was kind of like, I'm never going to... Like, it doesn't necessarily make me dislike them, but it's just kind of like, I'm never going to look at you in the same way. Like, I'm always going to look at you and be like, how many fags have you had today? <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> I don't know if, if, like, maybe I should, should I explain what, fag is, like, a Northern Ireland term for cigarettes, whether Someone's or not voted. you, like, I don't know if other people. Someone voted for other in the first poll. What? <laughs> it's little, little, or little, and it's someone There's said... two replies to it, they've replied to it as well. I oh, know, I think one of the replies is me. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's only one reply. Oh, got it. Because I deleted the first one. Okay, well, yeah, so that's just, like... I don't know how to describe it. You just sort of start thinking about it and just almost overthinking it. Just like, you tweeted that. Yeah. <laughs> you said that. I like it whenever I find out Christ celebrities are Christians because then I'm like, Christians are celebrities. <laughs> Bless up. <laughs> Bless up. <laughs> We're brothers in Christ now. <laughs> brothers. Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> <laughs> You're part of the fam, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Anyway. I suppose, um, as soon as I had to explain the colloquial term for cigarettes, just because I'm, I'm afraid, because I know it does mean something yeah, else. Yeah, it's quite rude. We might as well move on to the Northern Irish phrase of the week. Bop, bop, bop. Yep, thanks. Oh, really um, key. So I have, I have two, because I think the first one we've done before, which is yoke. I don't think we have. Okay, right, well you say like yoke is just like a machine or a person or just an object, I guess. That's some yoke there, hey. Talking that's, about that's a tractor. It's generally what you use it in, just as some yoke. Um, yeah, or some people pronounce it yoke. Yeah, which is wrong. Then there's no right it's or funny, wrong. It's really. funny how like you can, you judge people on the way they say things, do you? <laughs> do you say yogurt or yogurt? <laughs> yogurt. I don't trust people who say yogurt. The way we babysit their parents say yogurt. Yeah. That's... And they're sound people. They are sound, but I'm still kind of like, oh. I'm still a bit taken aback. What about, <laughs> have we talked about flyer and flyer? I think we have. Yeah. Flower and flyer. Yeah. yeah, we've definitely. Go find that podcast, guys. We're not going to go into that. Um, They're all on YouTube. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say another type of word that I can't remember what it is. Nutella or Nutella. I mean, it's meant to be Nutella, but yeah. anyone who says that, you just, nah. Pre-mark or primark? Pre-mark. Yeah. I think just, it depends on the accent as well. Like, primark. Primark works better, I think, in an English accent. Whereas Primark just sounds nicer in the socks. I imagine saying Primark. 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 Just going down to Primark. Hey there, Julie. Okay. You're clearly from Derry because Belfast doesn't have one anymore. <laughs> that was such a good Primark, the one yeah, Belfast. It, was it cool. really was. That's literally where we went to kill time. If we were ever up at the RNIB or anything like that, it would just be like, so will we go get the bus? Oh, it doesn't come for another like 45 minutes. Ah, we'll go, we'll down go to Primark. Primark. <laughs> and now we're like, we'll go to. <laughs> we go to Lidl. 
Lidl's further away though it's more walk yeah. you walk you have 45 minutes you walk to Lidl you have like 10 minutes to spend there and you have to walk back because <laughs> everywhere else is too expensive Lidl and Poundland places to go in Belfast <laughs> and then the way back up you go to Tesco Express <laughs> can we be sponsored by like the tourism board the tourism and I <laughs> I'm just going to move this over because I've leaned very close to it now. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the other Northern Irish phrase of the week um, was boys a deer. Boys a deer. I'm tired. Which is, you'd say instead of like, I don't know, jeep or so or... Gee whiz, Paddy. Ah, oh, dear. You'd say, boys a deer. <laughs> <laughs> boys a deer, it's cold out there today. Yeah. What is it? Like, it doesn't really mean anything, does it? But it's boys a deer. Yeah. Boys a... Is it a, a deer as in like... Do a deer if you mean a deer? I don't know. Or is I, it... didn't, I, didn't, I just sort of thought of it. Like, boys or is it um, like a ah, deer? Like I think it's boys a deer. Like as in like a boy is a deer. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. To me. Okay, <laughs> I'll take your word for that. I'll just accept that. Um, yeah. So we were thinking about like acting and stuff, and we were chatting about it today. It's sort of something that's sort of like. It's becoming almost a bigger and bigger thought in my head, which is why I'm kind of like, I need to do something about it, but how? <laughs> yeah. Like, every time I watch a film or, like, a TV show now, I'm like, oh. How do you actually say Lidl? I'm voting on the the, the poll here. Lidl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, I wanted to... Could you try and sort of stay focused here? Sorry, yes, focusing, yes. Trying to be a professional podcast. Yep. Yeah. You're taking my phone off. Right, I'll put it in my pocket. No, but just in case it like beeps or like causes. Oh no, like... it's um, it's on night mode. No one can. No one can hope happen. it's there. It can okay, sorry. Right, anyway. Like you know the way in the olden days, whenever you had a phone. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> beep. Yeah. Apparently that's what pilots hear, and that's why you have to have your phone on flight mode because it just makes annoying noises. It doesn't yeah. actually make the plane Does it, crash. Yeah, it just it's just like no, you're really annoying. It's but like it... having a wane in the back seat of a car. <laughs> We're nearly there. Yeah, I'm like shh. shh. I, I I know that some people don't turn their phones on flight mode, but I, I know that that noise would be... It would drive me mad. Yeah. So I'm like, here you go, pilots. But generally, Sweet. I don't think it... I think it... Well, obviously, it's just whenever you're taking off and that is the main problem, because yeah. that's when you have signal. Yeah, that's when Although you can get, get radio signal in the air, so if you have, like, a wee, like... Maybe that was driving the pilots mad, and that's why player. they... On the way home, I was driving them mad, and that's why they went so fast. They were like, I need to get out of this plane. I need to get this off because it's driving me mad. I didn't listen to the radio on the way home. Ah, oh, right, okay, never mind then. I only listened to it on the way there, on the way to London, because it was in the morning, and Greg James was on. Um, Quality. It was. Yeah, we want to act, but not to be famous. I don't think it... Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, do, do they coach you on how to, how to handle that if you do become famous? <laughs> I'd be a rubbish famous person. I'd just try to be nice. But Everyone then I would, would end be like, up just being like overstressed because I'd want to talk to everybody. Like yeah. I'd feel bad if someone came over. Can I have your autograph? It's like I have like literally two minutes to get my train and it's the last train home. And yeah, sure, I can talk to you. What do you want? It's like, can I have your autograph and a selfie? Yeah. <laughs> I would. I. I. Oh, I hate getting pictures taken on me. I would be so bad at that. I'd be like, you can have my handwriting <laughs> in your notebook, but you cannot have my face on your phone. Um, tell you what, I'll take a video on your phone and then I just take their phone and take a video and just be like, how did it? Hello, friends! How did you get in there? Like Peter Pan off of Disney. Yeah, I just. But like, I, I give them something like that because, like, a selfie, everyone can just get a yeah. selfie. Whereas, like, I think if, if you had, like, a video or something, you could just sort of be like, yeah, she held my phone and took this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'd get freaked out if people knew my name. Like, oh, yeah. hey, Judith, I'd be like, do I know you? Cause no, got... but you're on, like, the TV, just... Oh, right, okay. Did we talk about it in the bonus podcast, how we got spotted? I don't think so. Did we? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we were swimming um, during the week, and this woman came up to us and was like... "We were Keep in mind, we were in a pool, so we had swim caps and goggles on. Yeah, looking very attractive. Yeah, like, like all swimmers do. But we were sitting there, and then this woman came up and was like, you two did the sketch up in Belfast for the RNIB, and we were like, yes... yes. She's like, I thought it was very good. And we're like, thanks. And she's like, funny how I recognised you with the goggles and the swim cap on. And I was like, that's kind of creepy, but thank you. Yeah, she said she couldn't talk to us in Belfast because she had to run and get a bus. And we were like, all right, okay. So, so um, did we. So did we, but um, there you go. But yeah, thank you to that lovely lady. Um, we didn't, hope we you're didn't well. get your name. But we also um, didn't manage to plug the podcast or YouTube or anything. We should have just been like, subscribe to us on YouTube. Oh, I'd be so bad at that. 
I'm, a bit I'm, really, I'm really bad at that. I can do it on social medias. I can do it on so Skit Twins. I can do it on the account. But see, whenever it comes to like retweeting stuff or being like, hey. You retweet like, a lot more than me. I know, like on my own account, if I was like, hey, do you want to check out Skit Twins? Like, I'm fine with retweeting things, but whenever it comes to sort of like being like, hey, you. Do you want to? I do. I, I think I feel more comfortable doing it on the Skit Twins account because I can convince myself, oh, they'll maybe think it was Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> <thinking. laughs> it might not have been me. It might have been Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see how long we've been going. Oh, um, oh, thirty minutes and thirty-four seconds, thirty-five seconds. That's not bad. Um, Sorry if you're running or going anywhere, and I've just oh, let you know how long you're the going. worst person. Who else does that? Is it Shane Todd and the Shane Todd cast does that? And he's like, we've been going for twenty minutes here, and it's like, Shut up. Too. And he's like, oh, that's a wee forty-five minute podcast for you. He's like, oh, okay. But it's even worse because it's like I listen to it on one point five speed, so forty-five minutes is really like thirty or something like that. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's really sad but yeah um so do you have anything to add before we move on to our final little segment no i'll um i apologize for yawning um i'll check my phone here and see so if we need to do like a wee sort of thing at the start of every single where podcast it wakes where, me you, up. where you apologize in advance for yawning i'm sorry for we yawning you should do a yawn count <laughs> maybe someone will have done that i have a notification okay that's good it's nothing important Oh, well, that has anyone anyone else voted? Uh, you mean apart from me? Yeah. Let me just check. Oh, oh, we have a notification on Skit Twins. Oh wait, no, that's probably me just retweeting the polls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that's what it is. <laughs> just me. I hate it. Anyway, we'll try and get back to you on that. Next. We have two votes. Oh, okay, right. Uh, one other person apart from me pronounces it Lidl. So we have two votes for Lidl? Yeah. Okay, well, Lidl is now the winner, so everybody <laughs> must call it that. You have two days to vote, guys. Um, we, we'll try and remember to put it in the next podcast. Yeah, the results. Yeah. We'll probably forget. We'll probably forget, yeah. Do you want to put a reminder? We'll definitely or? tweet the results. Yeah, we'll tweet the results at least. Um, but yeah, so we'll move on to our final section. Um, <gasps> our next podcast will be in November... Oh, what date? November? Uh, the Done. 11th of November. Oh, before we go to London again. Because next week is the 4th of November and then it's the 11th of November. Okay, so it's about 33 minutes. Um, do you want to write that down? Because then we can Little... sort of share where our, where our like sections are. Because we kind of have sections. I'm putting a reminder for Little. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, keep talking, Meg. Um, so I'm putting a reminder on my phone here for next... Not, not next Sunday, but the Sunday after. For Little Pole results re r e s u l t s Dear, <laughs> sorry just spell that out loud for you in case you didn't know how to how to spell it um i'll put the reminder for 3 p.m and there we go um but yeah so so we're gonna go into a new section which we kind of touch on every like pretty much every podcast and we decided but, to make it into like a section well you decided i didn't know this was a thing until there now i told you on mess messenger Oh, okay, yeah. Because we don't talk in real life. It's actually 33 minutes. You might want to change that. Well, it'll be 34 minutes by the time we get started. It's 33 minutes and 37 seconds. Well, so. we'll go with 34 minutes. But anyway, it's it's a section that we're going to call VI Talk, because it's similar to VI Files, where we talk about being visually impaired. So if you have any questions... Um, Judith is writing ish next to me, next to the thing. You should have um, got distracted, you're a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional that gets very easily distracted. <laughs> so uh, it's called VI Talk, where we basically just talk about being visually impaired and different things. So. Because that's our life, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and this is supposed to I be never a... told you guys that I commented on loads of Chloe's Instagram photos from like years ago last night and it was great because Chloe got like 15 notifications of me just going... Did you say, we... did you say 15? Yeah. Or like 50. 50? Really? Yeah. I was on a roll. Um, but it's just like silly things from like, what, four years ago? And it's like, oh, look at us. Oh, there's me, look. And yeah, anyway, sorry, VI talk. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that though. I highly recommend it going onto your friend's Instagram and like going to the very bottom and just being like, like this picture. <laughs> Camera quality is atrocious. <laughs> Dem filters though. <laughs> sorry, VI talk, yes. 
so it's just sort of like little problems and stuff that like I guess we struggle with other visually impaired people struggle with first like, ones first ones losing stuff <laughs> <laughs> mom just like it's upstairs yes <laughs> like at the top of the stairs okay <laughs> now it down here and then she comes up and she picks it up and it's like it's right here it's like alright oh, okay I didn't see it no see what's the worst things that blend into things yeah like what like I don't know you put your like I have a black phone case on my phone and if I put it down on like a black chair like on like a seat of a car or whatever will not see that or like it'll take me like a couple of seconds to like realise where it is yeah you need to change your phone case because the, the, the magnet broke yeah the magnet from the back because I have a flip phone case and magnet fell out and, and it still closes you. and stuff but so like I'm just gonna just gonna wear it out to the death um but yeah what's your worst experience um of... almost walking into the wrong toilet Excuse that's not me. necessarily losing stuff but okay oh sorry I thought you meant like what was my thing um <laughs> I did say losing stuff <laughs> isn't listening um yeah, just, what were you doing I was checking notifications on my phone to see if anyone was interacting <laughs> with the podcast so um yeah mm. um I don't know, I, I, I'm just, I'm quite good at finding things. I think it was funny whenever we were growing up, up because mum used to be like, what are you blind? And we'd be like, um, yes, <laughs> yes, Mel. <laughs> and then, yeah, she stopped using that eventually because she knew that it just it didn't work. Cause... But then there's times where like mum and dad would be looking for stuff for ages and I'd literally just walk up and be like, is this it? Yeah. Like it's, it's sort of... It's in an obvious place, but it's, it's too a, obvious. Yeah, it's like a problem, but it's also kind of not a problem. What? Like, because I sometimes find things that everybody's looking for, but then other times I'm like, I don't even know where I put it. Like, where is it? Oh, it's... it's you know pocket. what the worst thing is? What? Dropping food on a dark coloured floor. <gasps> Where'd the smarty go? <laughs> <laughs> Maltesers are the worst, because if it's like, most floors are like sort of browny coloured, like dark coloured. Yeah. Unless you're really posh and rich and have like a white carpet. <laughs> but like, and you're like... But if it's a white carpet, then if you drop milky bar buttons... <sighs> Oh, nightmare! <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> Just have to eat different coloured chocolate in different rooms. But yeah, like, yeah, losing stuff sucks. Um, so does walking into the wrong toilet. Yeah. How do I pause it? Let's see. Anyway, sorry about that little... Oh, your phone has a thing. Um, yeah, okay. Enter the Google Pass. Sorry, I thought maybe the charger wasn't working or something. Mm -hmm. sorry that. Um, anyway, sorry about that little interruption. Mother came to the door. Um, she had your washing. She had like one pita bit of my washing and then a jacket I left downstairs. Yeah. But yeah, another one is like... Walking into the wrong toilet. Yeah, okay, right, explain that then. The signs in the doors are small and high and you have to walk right up to the door to see what toilet you're going into and you have to try and make it subtle so you have to do a wee walk past. Um, <laughs> just a fly past to check or else you have to wait. Like one of those walks whenever you're trying to sort of see into someone's house. Yeah. <laughs> Only you're a lot closer to the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then, or or else you wait for someone to go in or out. Like secret agent style, just like hiding behind a bin or something, just picking up. That's the men's. Yeah. But like another one is like family knowing about your eyesight. Does that make sense? Like, does Uncle John know fully what it is? Just like, do like cousins know? I think, I, I never really thought of that. Yeah. I sort of think about it sometimes. I'm like, do you, re you really? Re you sat us here and we're watching a film? Re really? Really? Why when did that ever happen? I don't know, it was an example. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. I thought that was real life. But yeah, like, do, do people know, like, the full extent of our vision? And then are they confident enough to ask? Like, yeah. That's sort of a thing that I always struggle we with. We right, she's good with it. Though, yes. <laughs> she took us to London. She's like our uh, younger cousin. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just like, um, can you read that? <laughs> and then she was reading. Th it was great. I would ten out of ten go on holiday with her again. Yeah. Um, ATMs are also awkward because the screens are hard to read, especially in the sunshine, and you have to oh, lean right yeah. close. And then, although I suppose that's good because it protects you, <laughs> it protects your like information, information and stuff. Right. But um, there's ones, and I sort of, I pretty much just like know which buttons to press anyway. Yeah. But then, um. There's some and I'm kind of like going, flip, where's the one that doesn't you give don't me a wanna, receipt? You don't want to look pure close as well because you can feel the people in the, the line behind you judging you. Yeah. And you're like, hmm. Yeah. Because like, I think whenever you look too close, you might like, it looks kind of like you're tampering with it. 
I don't know, yeah, maybe. That's what I always feel like, because they always peer look at you whenever you're walking away. It's kind of like, I didn't tamper with that, I promise. <laughs> I know, I kind of, you know the way it's like in a wee tunnel? Alcove. Alcove. I always sort of, if if I rest my head on the top of it, on the top of the alcove, I you can, can see it. <laughs> see it well enough. So that's my sort of distance, generally. And if I have to look closer, then I sort of like bob my head in and then out again. Yeah. I mean, generally, like, we're both getting money out at the same time or whatever, so one of us will go first, and then, like, whenever the second one turns, it's like, you want to click the third one down, then the second one on the left, and then, and sort of try and sort of guide them through it so they're not, like, struggling. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, if I go first, I may be sitting there for, like, two minutes, and then I sort of guide you through it, and she's done in, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The final one, and I got these just off a website, I was just like, what sort of things do we struggle with? Because... I don't think we struggle with anything and then I read these and I was like, oh yeah, that happens and yeah, that. Uh, it's only whenever you think about it fully that yeah. you sort of... It's a bit of a serious one. It's people doubting your abilities. Do you mean like doubting what you're capable of? Yeah. Well, so, like, what else would it mean? Oh, you can't... Well, I don't know, like doubting that you actually can't see. Oh, well, yeah, um, that too. But we'll get to that another day. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, people sort of being like, oh, but you can't see that, so... Um... I remember a careers advisor told me I couldn't be a nurse or a geophysicist or a seismologist. She gave me a whole list of things, like, basically everything I wanted to be. She was like, no, see, I think your eyesight would impair you. Like, you should have, like, fought for those and just been like, I'll show her. I mean, like, I was, what, well, 16 and I didn't speak much. Fair news. <laughs> I don't think like, I was ever... me now would fight back and be like, no. Nah, I'm gonna be a nurse. You just watch me. But back then, I was like, okay, okay. I don't think I was ever really told that I couldn't do. Okay, it. thanks, bye. I just sort of assumed. I was kind of like, oh yeah, no, I couldn't be a brain surgeon. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I think sort of uh, in school plays and stuff. I felt really awkward that one time that we were in the chorus and then the teacher brought us up. Like everyone's just kind of chilled and the teacher brought us up and they were like, can you see the edge of this stage? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, what about this bit? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, was this? Was we'll this rock Rocky? Rock yeah. And they were walking us around the stage and I was kind of like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I've been at this school for five years. I've been on the stage before. And, and they know like, where everything is. But it'll be dark. And I was like, how much, like, am I going to be running around the stage? No, you'll just be saying, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to be pitch black, I'll be the one that stays on the stage, likely, because I kind of don't like, want to die. <laughs> 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 I thought that was, that, for me, that was a bit surreal because I think that was the first time anyone actually made much of an effort. Apart like, from yes, sort of, can you see the board, can yeah. you see this? Like, yes, they made an effort, but also, like, ask us first, because we weren't told. Yeah. We were just, like, all oh, girls, come here. Yeah. And then it was sort of taking us around. Like, if all they had to say was, can you see the edge of the stage? Yeah. And we'd have been like, yeah. <laughs> totally and that, that would have been the end of it, rather than five minutes walking around the so, stage. I felt so awkward after that, though, because every time I was stepping onto the stage or off the stage, I was like, I can't screw this up. I know. <laughs> 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 but it was funny because we were taking so much effort to like not screw it up and I don't know how many times I saw other people tripping up yeah. the stairs and stuff and I was like, excuse me, do you want to ask them if they can see the edge of the stage? <laughs> like I knew they were just trying to be nice and stuff and like um like in case we, I don't know, fell off the edge or something but like we can see the edge of things, it's fine. <laughs> no, you say that but then there's some stairs like, you know the way most stairs have like a wee edging at the edge, at the, like the lip of the stairs? Then there's ones that don't and you literally like there's, pee yourself. There's trick ones though <laughs> that like have one before the steps start and you're like, is that a, is that a step? You sort of like, it's not a step, <laughs> it's not a step. You sort of feel your way with yeah. your toe. <laughs> What steps are those? I know they're somewhere. Uh, I think they're the ones in um, Ebrington Square. Okay, yeah. And there's yeah. sort of a wee line at the very top and you're like, oh, oh it's not But it step. doesn't matter how many times I get to those stairs, I will still do it. I'll still slow down and be like, two, two, step. <laughs> I've learned to make it a little more subtle. Yeah. But I still do it. It's still kind of, yeah. <laughs> This has been fun. Or else like <laughs> or else like curb edges. Like whenever like you think like, oh yeah, that's definitely a curb edge, but it's actually just flat on the ground. Mm -hmm. And you go to step down and there's just you hurt your knee almost because it's like, oh 
oh no, I didn't mean to do. Oh, uh, no. I can't walk in. I can't remember where it was, but it was we were. It was somewhere, and we were sort of back and forward a couple of times. And I don't know how many times I took a big, massive step up, and there was, and it was no there was no step at all, and it was just me taking this big, exact <laughs> step. <laughs> and I was like, every single time, I was like, I look like such a prat. I must remember that there's no step there. Next time, I look like such a prat. I must remember there's no step there. I think I did that. I did that in a couple of tubes as well. Whenever we were in London, you know, like some of them have like a step down, and some of them yeah. don't. And I was pure stepping up into the thing. It's like, all right, okay, it's flat. Never mind. <laughs> I just, I just try and copy other people. I'm just like they didn't step up. I kind of, I kind of comfort myself and like no one's looking at your feet. It's fine. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exaggerated stepping. I meant to walk like that. <laughs> just play it off. I'm an actor. <laughs> Are you going to do a final check on, on Twitter? And then I we'll, am, yeah. A final check of this pool. We'll wrap this up like a little present. It's not Christmas yet. You can't wrap it up like a present. Wrap it up like a little trick or Gift. treat. Ooh. Ooh. What's this for? Uh, we have three votes now. We have you? three votes. So I have to three. worry about um the top one where it's just little, little, or little. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Um, Why, how many votes do we have on that? We have three. We have the top one, the second one, and then other. Okay. So none on the third we need to L I D L. Um, currently, we have two votes on Lidl. Mm -hmm. Which is you and some other person. Yep. And one vote on Little. Little? Yeah. No votes on Lidl yet. Was it Lidl? Well, it could, Lidl. Be, it could be Little because in the ads, it's always like spread a little joy or whatever it is at Christmas. Make your Christmas a little sparkle. They oh, use they use they use little instead and then there's of like little. The, the little mermaid. Yeah. It's little. It's no. What? Flip what Lidl. I call it? Lidl. <laughs> I've lost all. I don't know. I think I I sort of switched between little little and Lidl. No, Lidl. But I don't say Lidl. Lidl. Was it Ant and Deck did an ad for Lidl and they, what did they call it? Did they call it Lidl? I don't know. Okay. Don't even remember them doing an ad. Did they not do Iceland? No. Okay. I don't think they did. Maybe they did. I don't know. Ant and Deck do a lot of things. Yeah. Not not so much now. I'm kind of miss Ant, Ant. bro. <laughs> You're bringing down the tone here. <laughs> you, Quick, you... think about you doing exaggerated steps whenever there's no steps there. <laughs> Chloe, we need to finish on a high note. Ah! No, um, just tweet us and stuff and Instagram and because we need to at that. skit underscore twins or skit at uh, um. <laughs> Hold on, I messed that up. Let me go again. <laughs> so at skit underscore twins or at skit under slash twins. And that is for Instagram and Twitter. And on Facebook, you just have to search skit twins. And on YouTube, you just search, do you search skit twins? You can search hashtag skit twins. You can search skit twins. You can search hashtag VI files because I'm sort of putting hashtags in all the videos because apparently that's the dumb thing and it makes it way easier to find it. Um, there's something really fluffy here at my leg. It's a dog. I like dogs. <gasps> it actually was a dog! It was a wolf. <laughs> it was a wolf. <laughs> That's incredible. I just guessed. Oh. But yeah. But yeah. Um, follow us on SoundCloud. Subscribe on iTunes. And leave us um, a review. At the minute, we're not... We can only really put up sort of two, three podcasts at a time on yeah. SoundCloud because we haven't got the pro membership. Um... But don't how soft this is. I know it's mine. I know how soft it is. Um, but yeah, the the podcasts all go on um, YouTube anyway. If anyone has any sort of like website or whatever that you can put all the podcasts on for free, with no like time restrictions, please let us know. Um, I hope that them all being on YouTube doesn't put you off listening to them. Yeah, because um, you can bring them up and put them on in the background, or if you're really rich and have unlimited data, it's no issue. And if you are on iTunes, I mean. It's a bit late to do it now, but like, if you want to listen to it, save it, and then it doesn't disappear. Yeah. Um, SoundCloud, I don't think there's a way to do it. I think if you have like premium, yeah, you can download things, but. But yeah, like you know what I mean. Like you can't get past episodes. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, but on iTunes, I think you can. Um, but just whenever this episode comes along, save it to your phone, or save it to your device, <laughs> iPad, iPod. But yeah. Anyway. Um. Do you, do you want to give them some advice for the next week? Um, no. 
<laughs> um, just watch whenever you're walking on fallen leaves because they can be slippy or concealing dog poo. Solid advice. The dog poo isn't solid, usually. Oh, that's... Oh, it's that's usually slippery, slippery, slippery end to a podcast. Anyway, bye! bye.